An ontology can be defined as a model which represents knowledge as a set of concepts within a domain. An ontology also captures the relationships between these concepts. An ontology is a form of knowledge management. It captures the knowledge within an organization as a model. This model can then be queried by users to answer complex questions and display relationships across an enterprise. Today, people have access to more data in a single day than most people had access to in a lifetime in previous decades. The problem is that data is found in many different forms. All of this information, captured in many different formats, makes it almost impossible to understand existing relationships between different data. In this current environment, it is very difficult to determine how policies, captured in Word documents, relate to business processes, captured in models, and how those business processes relate to data, captured in a database. Data needs to be represented in a format that allows these types of relationships to be discovered. Ontologies capture data in a way that allows these relationships to become visible. The two standards which govern the construction of ontologies are the Resource Description Framework, or RDF, and the Web Ontology Language, or OWL. In accordance with RDF and OWL, ontologies are made up of two main components. Classes and Relationships Classes are represented as ovals, while relationships are represented by arrows. Let's take a look at a particular example. In this example, there are two classes, person and organization, each representing a real-world concept. There is also a relationship that is has-employer. Together, these classes and relationships can be combined to assert statements about the real world. In this example, the class person is related to the class organization through the property has-employer. We can use ontologies to begin describing real-life relationships. For example, Todd is an instance of the class person, and Spry Inc. is an instance of the class organization. Ontologies capture the relationships between these two instances. In this example, Todd has employer Spry Inc. The combination of classes and relationships is known as a triple. A triple consists of a subject, a predicate, and an object. Triples lay at the heart of ontologies. They can be merged together to provide a comprehensive view of the real world within an ontology. Within an ontology, concepts are only defined in terms of their relationship to other concepts. For example, say we are describing a concept called mystery person. Mystery person has many relationships to other concepts, including gender, date of birth, race, hair color, and address. We can use these relationships to define the mystery person. Can you guess who it is? Ontologies through RDF and OWL are designed and structured to capture such relationships. Ontologies are also easily extensible. Rather than rewriting lines of code, new relationships can easily be added to existing ontologies. We simply add additional relationships which link person to new concepts. This process continues and ontologies are extended without disrupting the work that is ongoing or already completed. One of the most popular aspects of ontologies, in addition to capturing relationships, is that using ontologies for knowledge management is an alternative to source code. Many approaches capture knowledge and relationships established by different working groups as lines and lines of source code. This approach, while still popular, is extremely hard to manage can be managed only by a small group of engineers who understand the code and cannot easily adapt to changes in the environment. Ontologies present a new method in managing knowledge and capturing relationships, one that encourages more individuals to become directly involved. Using models rather than lines of code also allows ontologies to be easily modified with the changing environments. This makes ontologies a sensible choice for any large, ever-changing organization.